going to create how to make simulated movement using inputs in Scratch. So I'm just going to come into my events and I'm going to grab when the space bar is pressed and I'm going to duplicate this box six times. And I'm just going to set up an easy up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, left arrow and then I'm going to choose two letters on the keyboard that are close to each other so I'm going to choose A and the letter S. So what I want to do is go to my motion and I want to change my Y so if we're going to come here I'm going to change my Y and again I'm going to duplicate this if I go up on my up arrow, I want to change my Y by negative 10. As I move up on my, uh, I'm sorry, up would be in a positive direction, down would be my negative direction. So I, if I press up on my up arrow, it moves my guy uh, positive 10, down negative 10 on the Y axis. I'm going to do the same thing, but with my X axis this time. I'm going to change my X by, again, this would be the same as the idea of like taking steps. If I go left, right arrow, I want to go positive 10. If I want to go left arrow, I want to go negative 10 on that X axis. So we can see as we have our guy that moves. So we have the simulated movement uh, using input now. What I want to do is uh, use my inputs also to change my costumes. So I have my A and my S here, as we can see. And if we go to my costumes, you can see I have an A, B, C, and D for this specific sprite. So I'm going to grab looks and switch costume. I'm going to grab four of these and duplicate those. The other thing I'm going to want is a wait command. So I'm going to grab those and duplicate two of these. And what I want is when my A button is pressed, let's start off and have my costume to be A. Uh, because I want to simulate motion or animation in this, I want to have a wait command. So it kind of operates like a flip book. And I'm going to change this to a C costume. And I'm going to come over here and do the same. I want that same uh, A costume. Uh, this time I'm going to switch it to a B costume. And I want that same weight command so I can get that. A quarter of a second is a little long, but for this, it might work out uh, just to show the point. So I can move left and right, up and down, move my basketball player. If I hit the A button, I put my hands down on defense. If I hit the S button, they go up. So we can see that jerky animation. Again, I could change that. So if you could see, if you want to see a little bit more fluid, we could go down to a tenth of a second. And now we use that again. So what I have, if you look at my files, I have my A and I acting as my starting point and then I transition through that. So my A and then my C, my A and my B. So that gives me that middle step uh, to make it look like motion before I put my hands up in the B command or my hands down in the C costume. I'll do another video on advanced motion where uh, the person looks like they're actually running or moving uh, based on the coding, but that's gonna require a little bit more in-depth algorithm.